Fight Sports, welcome to the UA Path Dr. Arman channel. Thank you very much for subscribing my channel. So today we will see about the uh, differences. So this is the difference, difference between the two teams. So here you can see the first difference we are seeing in UA Path is like a what is the difference between the stop and kill actually. So there is a two things, stop and kill, right? Uh, uh, where we are where we are finding this stop and kill activity? This is an injury question people ask. So what is the difference between the stop and kill activities in the artistator? So if you see in the artistator, if you go to the jobs page, so you can find once you select any job in the jobs page in the artistator, you can find two buttons in the top. That is the stop, one is the stop and one is the kill. So what will happen when you click on the stop button while the process is going on, process is running? What will happen while you are clicking the kill button? So let us see kill. So first of all, we will see the kill button. Once you, once any process is going on, running into the any robot. So if you click on the, if you select that particular process, that particular job, not process, okay, that particular job, and click on the kill button. So it will terminate wherever it is. So whatever it is doing. So you don't care about that. So it will, it will terminate from that point on, on time, right? that, that point onwards, okay? So that is a kill will not just check so whether the process is completed or whether the process is in the middle. So you don't care about anything, so it will just terminate wherever the execution is, that is a kill. So if you want to kill, uh, click on the kill button, so it will terminate all the things. And the stop button, this is a really amazing future, the stop button, okay? So what is the stop button? So if you click on the stop button while the process is running in the system, it won't terminate it immediately, but it will send the signal of the stop signal to the process. So how can we get that signal, utilize that signal and uh, so terminate our uh, process smoothly without any disturbance, uh, without any disturbance, smoothly in the sense, gracefully closing all the applications or if any process is in the middle, some transaction is in the middle, so it has to complete that particular transaction and so uh, don't continue for the further transactions. This is like a graceful termination, got a graceful closing. So that is a stop button. So once any person click on the stop button in the orchestrator jobs page after selecting the job, a running job, so it will simply send the stop signal to the robot, that's it, so it won't do anything. So what we have to do, we have to utilize that signal and uh, develop the process. So while you are doing that process studio, in any studio, while you are doing uh, developing the process, so you have an activity called should stop activity. In the activities panel, just type should stop, you will find one activity called should stop activity. The output of the should stop activity is called boolean type. So if anyone click on the uh, stop button from the orchestrator, it returns the true, otherwise it returns the false. So what we have to use, we have to use that activity and develop the process here. Okay, so suppose for example, if you are uh, dealing with the one transactions, so let's imagine uh, uh, employee transactions, each employee is taken, each employee is one transaction. In Excel, there is a lot of employee records are there, each record is one transaction. Okay. Each record is one transaction. To handle one transaction, one employee in a process, so it is taking something like a it is just imagine it is a creating one folder of that okay, based on the employee name, opening the SAP, insert the data of the employee, open the SharePoint create some folders of that particular person, give the access to the SharePoint, this is massive. These are all the three parts involved in single employee, single transaction. So first thing is creating the folder and the SharePoint, as a SAP, creating the record in the SAP and creating the folder and give the access in the SharePoint for that particular employee. So what will happen, each and every employee, each and every transaction has to go on, go on through these all three steps. So once this is a going to the all the three steps come successfully, that is called transaction completed. What we have to do, the whole process is a, for the single transaction. Okay, so before going to, suppose for example, if you use the for each row activity, 
So it will retrieve each and every row from the data table. So you are reading the data from the Excel, it will go each and every record, right? So within that body of the uh, for each row activity, you are doing these process, these three processes for the single. Boredom doesn't record. stand a chance against us. I can try to make you laugh, or I can surprise you with some random fun. Okay. So, so here, uh, for example, uh, within the for each, these three process: process one, process two, process three. Suppose, for example, these came back from a search. Within the for each, within the for each. So what you can do? So within the for each, for each row. So you have to use a should stop activity. The output of the should stop activity is stored into the variable. That is a boolean value. Use the if condition. If should stop is not true, that means if not should stop, that means should stop. You use the if condition should stop. What is the then condition? That means someone click on the uh, stop button in the administrator. So don't go to the else. The then condition go to the else condition and process all the things. That means what is the else condition? Should stop is not clicked by the anyone in front of the orchestrator. That's why it is going smooth process. Okay. So what it will, it is doing? It will check every time before going to process, before going to start the employee record process. So it's like a, a doctor is treating the each and every patient. Each patient is on transaction before going to treat uh, each patient, consult each patient. What he is doing, he is just checking outside whether any any person is uh, any any uh, appointments are there. Anyone is uh, came for met uh, uh, to the doctors. Okay. He is checking uh, appointments every time before starting the treatment of the uh, can the, the the patient. Okay, the patient. Once maybe in the middle of the treatment, if anyone comes. So what he has to do, he has to wait after this current patient is completed. In the same way, if you use a stop button, stop, should stop activity. So once user click on the any stop button from the orchestrator, the jobs page, so it will send a signal to the robot, should stop is called a true. So then it will, in the middle of the something, in the middle of the one transaction, if anyone click, it won't check in the middle. Understand, don't check in the middle. It will check before starting the each transaction. If you, if you click on the in the middle, it won't check. It will process the current transaction successfully and check the next before going to the next transaction. It will check whether the stop is true or not. Okay. That is the advantage of the stop and kill process. Okay, so we will see the next uh, uh, next difference in the next video. Thank you very much for subs uh, subscribe my channel. If you not yet subscribe. Please subscribe so we'll see so what are the interview questions on so what are the differences between the multiple things thank you very much for watching